we um we've got rung in to go motocrossing. Look at us. Modelling full face bell helmets. We're a long way from the beach. I know there's two things I haven't done for a while. So uh, ride a motorbike and, and fit in a size 32 pants. It's gonna be gnarly dude. Motocross boys are teaching us how not to ride. Grip with your knees. Grip with your knees, because if you don't grip with your knees, you get out of control. Okay. That's probably the best thing I could say, grip with your knees. Shit. Good tip. Don't, whatever you do, don't whisky throttle off the back. That's bad news too. Okay. I'm a bit worried, but we're going to have a dig anyway. No, nervous. Excited but nervous. It's not like my little scooter back at home up the Galbi, that's for sure. This is heavy shit. You know Hoy Show putting shit on the line? This is Hoy Show putting shit on the line. Oh, he just stalled it. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't whisk your throttle off the back. Because if you don't grip with your knees, you get out of control. See that shit? That is fast. Told you I shouldn't ride a fucking motorbike. <laughs> Mate, I was um, really bad on a motorbike, but you know what? Better than nothing. At least I had a go. How was it, was it Bo? That was awesome. Nah, yeah, it's good fun. Love fun love laughing at Hoyo's expense. I heard he had a couple of good crashes. Can't wait to get to the pub and tell everyone how shit house he was today. I did everything I wasn't supposed to do. <laughs> Fucking didn't grip with my knees and whiskied it first go. Sick. <laughs> I had a helmet on and gloves. Luckily, I had the safety gear on. So it would have been in a lot of strife. How do you think the boys are going to fare tomorrow in the surf? Oh, I wish the surf was huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, Burton Toyota MR Pro Surfest. That Brazilian kid just did one of the best maneuvers I've ever seen in my life. This is very weather, my town. That's disgusting. Breaking in his ski, what else did you do? Mark Richards Trophy, have a look at it. The Wounded Seagull in all his form. Have a look at the names on this. Tom Carroll, Tom Curran, Mick Fanny. Mick Fanny, Kelly Slater's name's there, mate. How good's that? The ambassador for surfing in Newcastle and everything about Newcastle, Matt Hoy. Speak for yourself. Can't ride a motorbike, but fast. <laughs> Yesterday here, they just did a nice swim in the ocean. It's, it doesn't seem fair. Yeah. They got about as much chance being a surfer as I do being a moto rider. Well done, Joshy. <laughs> Cranking, mate. See the boys? It's a bit easier than riding a motorbike. <laughs> So you're down for it next year, you're going to train up a bit on the moto? No chance I'm riding a motorbike ever again. I'm done. My motocross career is finished. <laughs> 
Here we are with Josh from the KTM team, mate. It's a bit more involved with the motocross than a surfboard and a wax and a wedding, mate. Have a look at this. Yeah, she's a bit of a setup to go down with the whole thing. Um, you know, the guys put about you know a hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, equipment into one bike, and we go out there and wreck them and <laughs> <laughs> come in and say it's shit and whatever and all the above. And <laughs> so, you know, surfing's like. It's natural, it's like you yeah. can do your own speed. That thing in between your legs is gnarly. Yeah, well, especially the one you jumped on. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of scared of them things and uh, you jumped straight into the deep end and uh, grabbed a handful of throttle and paid the consequences. <laughs> Whiskey, mate, they told me to do everything yeah. I did all wrong. Took a bit of a dirt sample, but uh, yeah. you gotta, you got to take them if you want to be a dirt bike rider. That's right, mate. So we've got the KTM team, Doggy's on the inside. He's going to show us through how mad this van is, mate. Check yeah. this shit out. Well, here we are inside the JDR KTM truck. This here is the workshop area where the mechanics come in and tweak the bikes when they have to. This thing can rebuild four bikes at any given time. We can change up the bikes when we want to and uh, for instance, we can change gearing to suit each track. Yeah, so up these stairs, this is where all the riders hang out in between races. So down the stairs and up the ladder, and this is where we store the bikes and they stay there from race to race. Here, this is where we have all the riders stuff. This is their personal belongings and uh, whew, you don't want to go in that one. Why do you love motocross? Motocross? I don't know. I think it's a unique sport, you know. You've got to be pretty tough to do it. And, uh, I never know some soft guys do it. But um, <laughs> standing on the podium and getting that number one trophy, also the chicks too. <laughs> Even though I've, I've got a missus, I've got a missus and she's beautiful, but chicks and glory, mate. <laughs> Winning this surface was a great achievement for myself. It's one of the biggest competitions in Newcastle and I've trained really hard for it. We're down here in the beautiful Merriweather for the grand final of the Surfest competition 2012. Finals on, Surfest, and we're just gonna have a beer at the beautiful new surf house. We hate it, but we love it. <laughs> so here it is at the beautiful surf house, the end of Surfest. We've got beers in front of us, the final's on. Hey, knew it doesn't get any better. Thanks, mate. Thanks for nearly killing me. Thanks for the good times. And think it's fun running streets on the killing of kings. This mass pressure on the struggle to succeed. Believe in what you're seeing all through MTV. Yo, with love hurts. It's a stab in the back. Life beyond Brooklyn can't be imagining that. People try to check out. I want to check in. 